Hey everybody, welcome to episode 66 of the Hoopercast. Uh, this is our 2015 films that we are most looking forward to this year. Basically, I, I personally include films that I intend to see, whether in the theater or not. And um, But we also talk about movies that maybe people in general, audiences in general, might be excited for, even if uh, we ourselves aren't that excited for them. So, um, enjoy the episode. This is the time in the Hoopercast where we talk about what we are looking forward to in this upcoming year. The only thing in January I'm interested in is Taken 3. Yeah. Um, directed by Olivier, Olivier Megaton. Um, who did, Megatron. <laughs> yeah, Megatron. It's Megatron. Megatron. Um, he did Taken 2. Uh, the first one was Luke Basson, but this guy did the uh, second uh, the second and third movies. So... Um, this is presumably the last movie in the Taken franchise, um, where I'm not know. sure what he's doing, but I saw <laughs> the trailer and he's kicking ass still, so that's cool. I never um, saw the second one. I never saw the second one, but I'm looking forward to the third one. I never saw the yeah, second one either. Fun. I heard it was yeah, it was okay, so but I'll straight up watch the third one. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I'll probably red box that thing, but um, yeah, yeah. That's the only thing in January that looks like <laughs> worth my time. The only other thing that I sort of marked was Mordecai but here's the problem three problems um it stars Johnny Depp um it's directed by David Kep, who if you know who he is he wrote I believe he wrote Jurassic Park and Kingdom of the Crystal Skull yeah, yeah but he directed like Secret Window he doesn't direct that often and he directed it and uh it's based on some weird English franchise I've never heard of so it looks very silly. I saw the, the trailer. It looks silly as shit. So, I mean, I don't know if I want gotcha. another silly film. Like, Johnny Depp, in my opinion, needs to do more serious things. So, a film like Mordecai, where he's just being a silly British man, is just like, ugh, stop it. Strange. Stop. Oh, you. In terms of January, let me just say Strange Magic <laughs> looks ridiculous. Did you watch this trailer? I did. Oh, I saw a TV promo for it now. Oh, my gosh. First of all, the movie comes out in like three weeks, and the first trailer premiered like maybe a month ago. So that that's never a good sign to me. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's it's from the mind of George Lucas. What? And I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> that's pretty much a, a clear sign to stay away from it. No. The guy who did Captain EO? Not the same guy, I guarantee you. I guarantee you it is not the same guy. <laughs> he did Captain EO and something else. I forget what it was. Do you guys have anything for, for February? Uh, I want to see the Spongebob movie. I am not interested. I, I, I know. I, and I shouldn't yeah. be. I shouldn't be, but I watched the trailers and I'm like, oh, snap. There's Broughton Street. There's the Sc- There's Trustees Theater. And I'm That's like, you. Yeah. And so there's Leopold's. And like, I'm like, I'm interested in this for that reason, but also because I believe Steven Hillenburg is involved and he's the one that started, you know, uh, what's it called? SpongeBob. What's it called? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I forgot what it was called for a second. Um, and so since he's involved, I'm like, maybe, maybe it'll be okay. But, but I will say this too about it. At least at some point in this film, those characters are CGI and that is weird to me. Yeah. I think most of the film is them CJ. Well, then that is weird to me. <laughs> so, uh-huh. so yeah, that I may see that, but I probably am not going to report back about how great it was. Mm-hmm. You guys don't want to see Fifty Shades? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to see it like eight times. <laughs> totally. Have you guys seen the trailer for that? No. I, I, oh, my God. I have, unfortunately. It looks ridiculous. I see it, it before, is, like, every movie I go to see. I know. It's, <laughs> it's in front of everything. It's going to be a big movie. It looks it's, Yeah, it's The dialogue in it looks horrible. It looks terrible. Wow. I, I just, 
Ugh. No, I can't. What dialogue there is before gags are introduced. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, jeez. For a second, I thought you meant, like, humorous gags, and I was like... No. <laughs> <laughs> was like oh, oh, I was cracking. This slapstick comedy up in here. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, are we still talking about the same... Oh, I see. Three Stooges. <laughs> <I see. laughs> no. Uh, no, I mean bound and gagged. Yes. <laughs> You're bound to see it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shut up, John. <laughs> Whip out your wallet and pay to go see it. You know what I'm saying? No, your I wallet, don't. I which don't is made to. of leather. He was, no, he, stop. He was masturbating with a knife. <laughs> Submit. <Sorry. laughs> Get out of here. He was masturbating with a knife. <laughs> oh, family guy. Um, <laughs> That's it so for me. That? That's shade. about that's, it for February. Yeah, nothing else in February is. There's Hot Tub Time Machine too, but um, eh. uh, what's his name? Uh, Cusack. John, John Stam. Oh, John Cusack. Yeah, John Cusack. <laughs> that's Stamos. <laughs> um, is not involved. So I'm only. I'm only thinking. Oh, uh, nope. <laughs> the thought I'll is. I'll eventually it, see it. Did you notice that if everybody John else Cusack is introduced? turns it down? What? If John Cusack turns down a movie, it's got to be <laughs> bad. I like the first one. That's why I'm interested. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So March has Chappie, the next yeah, uh, I don't film by Neil that. Blomkamp. Yeah. I don't know about that one. I'm not yeah. so sure what it's about. I'm, I'm, That's starring I'm... someone named Ninja. Are you looking at this? Where? Look at the Oh, cat. shit. Oh, snap. <laughs> it is. Who is this? There's a ninja in this movie. <laughs> ninja. <laughs> who's ninja it's that horrible roller coaster from the six flags okay oh, no. if if you let's see who's this guy he's a rapper South African a rapper. rapper and record producer oh god I love his oh, music ninja. Marcus Wernstrom is not gay <laughs> <laughs> he expanded into graphic art stuffed animal making <laughs> what well there you go all right well the picture they have of him is not what I expected when I Wikipedia ninja but that's okay no um, well, anyway. Ch- Chappie oh. it interests me just because it's it's a Neil Blomkamp movie. Um, mm. I enjoy Charlotte Copley a lot. You won't um, if you see Maleficent. No, I, I didn't in Maleficent. Oh, um, you did see him. Malef- yeah, you did yeah, see Maleficent. I yeah, he was, uh, see yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was. Oh, um, Maleficent. That's the whole movie is him just screaming in <laughs> Scottish. Maleficent, please don't do this. Please don't do this. Um, oh, please, yeah. please don't say anymore. Okay, so I wrote down Insurgent, and the reason I did was because I'm not really proud of this, but I did see Divergent, um, and it was a pretty good film. Like, it's pretty solid. Nothing really, like, stood out as, like, ugh to me. Um, a few things, you know, but whatever. Um, so I'm, I'm loosely attached to this franchise now. So I'm going to put Insurgent down just because it was it was fine. It was good. Um, so, I mean, anybody who's a big fan of the franchise is going to see this. Obviously, it's going to be a big movie. Um, mm-hmm. And it's up against some movie called The Gunman with Sean Penn, so it'll probably clean up. Um, yeah. So... I'm just mentioning that because that's that's a pretty significant release, and this is you know, this is this is kind of the franchise that's going to take over after Hunger Games is done. So sure, um, these are these all obviously run together. The Hunger Games somehow. will never be done. Okay, well I think a big month is May. Obviously, uh, <laughs> right off the bat, there's Avengers: uh, Age of Ultron. Yep. Which um, the first of the first of all the 2015 movies that I can probably guarantee that I'll see in theaters. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's it's gonna be awesome. Um, I'm I'm really excited, and uh, yeah. the, you know the trailer looks really good, and um, that, that's what I hear. Yeah. Oh, you haven't seen it, have you? No, I'm not. I'm not watching anything before I go see it. I watched the teaser, but just to get a, an idea of the look, you know. Yeah. 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 And then I sort of p- pump the brakes at that point. I tell you, I'm not looking forward to Aaron Taylor Johnson. I know, right? Worries me. <laughs> Well, the next one I've got for me is uh, Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah, I'll end up seeing that, I'm sure. Have you guys seen any of the original Mad Max films? I haven't. 
I, I, I know I got about halfway through the first one, but it's been so long ago that I might as well just say no. Everybody said that the Road Warrior, the second one, was it has like a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes. It's like a good movie. It's you know, considered a great movie. I yeah. got it on Blu-ray. It was boring as shit. Yeah. <laughs> They're so boring. <laughs> There's those yeah. movies are are so slow and, and that's what I remember and about boring. <laughs> yeah. So this is the same guy, so hopefully he's realized like, hey, films have to be kind of quicker now. Different like now. this none of this <laughs> Stupid and boring shit. Yeah. He did direct uh, a segment of the Twilight Zone movie. I forget which one it was. Probably because it was boring and you don't remember it. What, what, I think it was the one, Dustin, where. with Anthony. Oh, really? Ooh, I want to say that was him. Let me, let me look. Yeah, the cornfields. <laughs> I don't like you anymore. Let me see. He also directed Happy Feet. Oh, no, he did Nightmare at 20,000 Feet. Oh, oh, really? Which was my favorite one, so that's awesome. good. <laughs> we shall see. He was, George Miller was uh, going to direct Justice League back a few years ago when Army Hammer was going to be Batman and everything. And, uh, yeah, that project fell through. Let me just say, I'm glad that yeah. project fell through. That cast yeah, seemed terrible. Too. It sounded awful. Yeah. Although whoever was playing The Flash in that has to be better than Ezra Miller. I was going to say, does it sound worse than what, the, what they have? God <laughs> almighty. Don't get me started on freaking Ezra Miller as The Flash. And the only other one I have for May is this uh, Tomorrowland movie, which I still know nothing about. But this is that Brad Bird, Damon Lindelof movie. I'm yep. so split on that. I would love to see another Brad Bird movie, but I do not want to see another Damon Lindelof movie. That's that, I, yeah, I didn't know he wrote that until I saw it here, and I was like, yeah. And it's just him, what? by the way. It's not story by Damon Lindelof with two yeah. writers. Right. It, this is all him. Yeah. Well, Brad well, Bird. Brad Bird will keep him too. in check, I think, you know. Hopefully. Yeah, I, I'll go see it for Brad Bird. I don't and think Damon good. Lindelof can, can be kept in check. What? I don't think Damon Lindelof can be kept in check. Mm, I trust Brad Bird, though. I He's never too. made anything bad. See, but the thing is, I, I hate Damon more than I like Brad. So, uh, I'm not sure. I get you. I, I don't blame you for being weird. But I'll see it. I know I'll see it. I'm not even going to yeah, fight that. Yeah, I definitely will. Yeah, definitely. But my, my expectations will be rock bottom. Yeah. I'll be like, this will look good, but it'll make no sense at all. <laughs> um, Who is interested in the Entourage movie in June? Me. Really? Yeah. Did you ever, did you ever finish <laughs> that Entourage? That like a setup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alley-oop. Uh, no, I, n- I never did. I... I... No, I need to catch up, I guess, before I see it. But uh, yeah, I, I've been hearing about this movie for years. So I, I, the trailer came out. I haven't watched the trailer, but I'll, I'll go see the movie. I, I love the show. Yeah, I thought the show was great. Um, you know, again, I probably didn't see the last like two seasons. Of the show. I think when the show came out, it was like it was pretty good. But I think if you judged it against TV today, it's probably kind of weak. Maybe I don't know. I haven't no. seen the recent season, so maybe that's unfair to say. I never watched much of it. It was. It, I always had fun watching it when we were in college, John. I always thought it was. Yeah, I great. thought it was extremely interesting. Yeah, an entertaining show. It was one of those yeah. early mo- early shows that really gave you uh, a look at what the movie business is probably like. Yeah, this is before Hollywood became self aware, so this is one of the earliest indicators yeah. of how the movie business really works. Um, Jeremy Piven was really always really good. Yeah, he was. Yeah. yeah. Um. Kevin Dillon. I just, I really didn't like Vince. Like, I really, really did not like Vinny Chase. Yeah, he was annoying. Like, he was, he was just this childish, impulsive, narcissistic, just cock, and I hated, I hated him. Yeah. Um, I didn't like E. You know, I really only liked drama. I didn't even like Turtle. I just liked drama. Like, I only liked I one liked character. Him. You didn't like Ari. Uh, he was fun to watch. Uh, yeah, I guess I liked Ari, but I mean, I actually liked drama. Like the yeah. whole point of the show was to continually like make him lose, <laughs> and mm-hmm. I always felt bad for him because I was like, oh, he's a good guy. He just he doesn't he's not greedy. He just kind of wants a little bit of fame back. But everyone else is like, just I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know if it was the New Jerseyness that with the turtle. You like sneakers? Like ah, uh, stop! But you know, I don't know. I get you. See, but now E is doing like commercials and stuff as a voice actor. Yeah. So 
<laughs> this tells you how much that, that guy wishes that how much that guy needs this movie. <laughs> What's his name? Where is he? Uh, Kevin Connolly. Yeah. Kevin Connolly. Yeah. Um, the only other thing I have for June is Jurassic World, and I'm. This is obviously a. Um, a, you know, big franchise film, but this is yet another film that stars Chris Pratt. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, um, I've, I did not watch the trailer. Did you guys? I, I haven't either. But I, I'm definitely going to see it. I, I'll say I, this. It, the trailer looks good. There's a couple of things that are kind of weird, but I'm I'm waiting until I see the film to be able to be like, yeah, that's weird. You know what I mean? I, so I, I heard so much negativity around it, but but for me, it's 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 like... People are people have become so cynical. I yes, feel like, and and indeed. if you release Jurassic Park again today, like people would be cynical about that. So yeah. that's the way I look at this. It's it's going to be very true. It's, yeah. It's like don't complain. Who cares if the science is super accurate? That was one of the things with Interstellar. It's like if the story is good, that the, whether that could actually happen should should be irrelevant. Yes, it's the same with this. People exactly. are like, well, they made their own dinosaur, man. And it's like. The Wizard of Oz isn't realistic either. That doesn't stop it from being a great movie. You know what exactly. I mean? It's like, yeah. Who cares if, if the dinosaur could actually be made in real life? You know exactly. So I'll I'll, get, I'll go see it. I'll have a good time seeing it too. I think sure. I think what people are also complaining about is that we know more about dinosaurs now than we did in the '90s. So why we haven't updated the designs of them or whatever? But I, again, again, there again, I'm like, okay, this is a franchise. You want visual consistency. I don't yeah. have a problem with with that. Um, and and ninety eight percent of people who go see this aren't going to know the dinosaurs look any different. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing, and that, that's that's you know it's like people complain so much about stuff, but ninety eight percent of the people who go see this are going to love it. Right. That's the simple that's the simple truth on that. Yeah. yeah. So you'll have a very vocal minority out there, but that's always going to be the case. It's yeah. going to make it's going to make a ton of money. It's yeah. going to be fun. You know, yeah. that's it's very like. easy to be cynical about a movie like this and, right. and point out its flaws based on, you know, a, a four second snippet from a trailer. But right. I say we reserve judgment until the film comes out and don't judge it on whether it's realistic, because, I mean, you can look at any movie throughout history, like you said, Wizard of Oz, you know, and, and pick it apart for realism. But what if a movie's pur- purpose isn't realism? I mean, what bedtime stories and what stories told around the campfire always were, were just escapism. It's not necessarily, here's a thing that could happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Well, it, it, it's funny. Like so many people, people will rip apart movies like, like, like an Iron Man movie or something. They'll hold that to a different standard of being realistic, but, but, yes. but on the most bizarre things, they'll nitpick yeah. things. But it's but at the same time, it's like, there's a man in a suit flying around and you right. accept that, but. But if he does this one thing, you're like, that would never happen. It's like, this yeah, is yeah. ridiculous. You know, it's like, yeah. You have to accept that this is that that's a, a movie a that's thing, not meant yeah. to be 100% realistic. And, and, exactly. You know, it's whatever. In June, there's also Inside Inside Out. Yes. Um, which is the next Pixar film. We get two Pixar movies next year. And uh, this will be the first. <laughs> and Definitely go see it. Enough said. I'll be seeing it, yeah. What's yeah. it about? I'll go see anything Pixar does. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I've, I've been staying away from the trailers. I'm not hundred percent sure what it's about. I think, I think it's about like a girl and we're kind of watching her internal state of mind and her emotions are personified by different characters. And I don't really know anything beyond that, but yeah. Sounds interesting. Yeah. I haven't seen the trailer either. Yeah. I mean, but, but it's directed by, um, Pete doctor. So it should be pretty yeah. good. Yeah, Michael Arndt wrote the screenplay. Apparently, so. Oh yeah, the last thing I've got for June is Ted Two. Mm. Is yeah. anybody interested in that? Mm. Me. Yeah. Yeah, I like the first title a lot. I'll yeah. definitely go see it. I probably liked it enough to see this one as a rental. I don't think I'll rush to the theaters for this one. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I waited for Ted to rent it in the first place, so I'll probably do the same here. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. Mm. Um, so for July, um, I've got Magic Mike XXL. Um, I'm mentioning this because I saw the first one, although I know nothing about this next one, so who knows how good it actually is. 
Um, it's so it's not... Channing Tatum wrote the screenplay. Y- yes. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, and it's not the same director, so this could be horrible. Um, and frankly, on paper, it's a terrible idea to me. Um, but we'll see. Um, I just thought that was worth mentioning. But uh, it's up against – it's going to get destroyed because it's going up against Terminator Genesis. I don't know mm-hmm. if it's going to get destroyed, man. I don't either, it's, yeah. It's going to really? be a tight race. Oh, yeah. I, I yeah. don't think so. I think, I think people no. are going to see Terminator out the wazoo. Terminator's not what it was. It's not. Yeah, but the general public doesn't know that. Mm. Maybe. I, I don't know. I, I, I know way more people they will see the Terminator than they'll see Magic Mike. I mean, I would see Terminator over Magic Mike. I haven't seen the first Magic Mike, but but I don't same. know that I don't know that everybody's going to do the same thing because you realize like if all the guys go see Terminator, all the women are going to go see Magic Mike, and and women are more likely to just go out that weekend and see Magic Mike, and dudes are more likely to just say, "Well, I'll, I'll see Terminator when I can." Yeah, I I, I think it'll outperform Magic Mike. I do. Um, it's possible. Magic Mike. Was I, I a, think it's gonna. I think it'll outperform it, but it'll, it'll be close. Magic yeah, it'll Mike was a small was a small movie. It didn't rake in that much to the box office. I don't think. I mean, it made a profit, but I don't think it like did gangbusters. Um, and I think that a sequel. I don't know. I just think that the Terminator will. I don't know. But I saw some trailer or something for Terminator. I'm not sure what I saw. Um. But I'm passively interested. I'm not really. I don't really care about this franchise anymore. I kind of wish, if they want to keep making movies, I wish they would find a direction and go in that direction. And so I think involving Arnold Schwarzenegger might be the right way to go. But yeah. you know, who knows? I I really, I really hate Jai Courtney. I don't yeah, understand I do. why he's in movies. I don't know why he's not just. He doesn't work in like a stock room. <laughs> like he's just he's I've just, never seen a movie with him <laughs> don't please don't because he's just he's not he, he, he was in live free or die hard he was in divergent now he's in this thing and it's just like he's he's why is he why is he getting work he, he has nothing to offer here's what <laughs> I'll say about about the box office race I just looked it up really quick Uh-oh. Uh, opening weekend of Magic Mike the first one was thirty nine million dollars. Opening weekend of Terminator Salvation was forty two million. So it's going to be close. Mm. Plus, Magic Mike is going to get the bump from having a, a successful first film, mm. whereas Terminator Salvation yeah. wasn't generally well received, and it's been so long. The, the the thing is, like Terminator for me just needs to die off. It needs to end. It, yeah. it be, it's enough. Like yeah, the it, first two films were good, the, mm-hmm. and I like Salvation. Fine, it was fun. I, you know, but. I mean, this, enough, enough. I just don't think people care anymore. I really well, don't. My, my I think prob- it's one of those my... franchises that never. The first two movies were good, but it, it felt like they haven't caught on with the with the public as much as these studios think that they have. Right. Yeah, you know, it's it's not like a Jurassic Park or no. or one of those movies that that are so embedded in the culture. You know. Right. That right. that's why I feel like people know like I'll be back and those things, but but if you ask them like, did you see the last one? They all go, no, I didn't. You know what I mean? I That's think Terminator's true. even smaller than Alien. I mean, yeah, maybe. yeah, I, I, yeah. I would agree with that. I think the Alien films, like if you did an Alien film today, it would make more. Yeah, I and think. and maybe that's why Prometheus did so well was because people thought it was going to be an Alien movie, and then right. on top of that, two Aliens also had the 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 increased longevity because of video games and you know whatnot that Terminator right. hasn't ever had. So. <clears throat> I just feel like Terminator is done, creatively yeah. spent for yeah. me. But that's just me. I just it'll make a, it'll make some money. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, but it's gonna be tight. That's it's got the, Arnold that's, in it. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be tight. <clears throat> well, for July, I've also got Minions. Yep. Yeah. What do you guys think? I'll see Should it. be funny. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So I th- I'd say it's a bold move. You think so? Yeah. yeah. Uh, have you, do you know what the concept is? No. <laughs> Oh, it's like showing the minions before they worked for Gru and kind of them going through, I think it's like them going through history as other famous people's minions. Yes. Oh. If I, if I'm reading it, if I, if I, yes, I think that's what it is. Yeah. It's basically an exploration of them as a species and how they instinctively look for the evilest thing around to be a minion to. And so, 
So it shows them like with the dinosaurs and they're like trying to be a minion to the T-Rex and it doesn't work out. And then, you know, it goes through time until they meet Gru. It looks fun. It's either going to be really good or really bad. Because hmm. <laughs> the, the concept sounds good, but it could maybe it don't, doesn't work. I don't, I don't know. But I, yeah. I think it'll be good. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll um, go see it, definitely. The next thing I have is uh, Ant-Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys are going to see this in theaters, right? Yeah. I'm sure I will, but I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm excited for it. Why not? It's just another Marvel movie to me. I mean, in, and I think we've talked about before that my excitement for these movies doesn't really exist anymore. It's just sort of an inevitable fact that they will come out and I will see them. There's no real reason to be excited anymore. Although I'm a little excited for the Avengers, but I feel like that's in a different category. But, but for Ant-Man, you know, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say I'm excited or, or not excited. It's just, you know, it's there. I'll see it. Does it have T.J. Miller? Um, it, I don't know. No. I don't think so. I'm excited for it, then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'll go see this. I, I'm, not, I, I'm not, like, pumped for it, but I, I'm excited to see it. I mean, yeah. I like um, Paul Rudd. I've completely bought into the Marvel's model. Um <sighs> I have to admit, so I'm a Same. little biased towards my excitement with their movies, but um, I'm pretty excited for it. Um, yeah. I'm excited to explore a character I've never, ever seen depicted anywhere, so mm-hmm. um, it'll be nice and new for me at that point, and I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just excited at the fur- furthering Marvel's story in general. Yeah. But, and, and adding a character like Hank Pym is going to be good for the Marvel Universe, mm-hmm. I think. Adding some, you know, a scientist type character. Mm-hmm. I think that'll be beneficial. There's also sure. two movies on the same weekend. There's Pan with Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Um, there's I, I mean, nothing about <laughs> yeah. that. that and there's uh... oh, that's like the Peter Pan. Yeah, it with, is with Garrett Hedlund as the yes, Captain Hook as Hook. I don't know about that. Uh... <laughs> Who, whose name is Hook before he has a hook that for a hand. Bizarre. So that, that worked yeah, out I pretty well for him. Uh, and Yeah. Um, and then there's a Poltergeist, the Poltergeist remake. Eh. The cast looks good. Yeah, the cast looks great. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll go see it. I don't know. Seems unnecessary. I'd just like to see Lane Price get attacked by ghosts. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. <laughs> oh dear! This is atrocious. <laughs> okay, so August has the Fantastic Four. Yeah. Um, is anybody excited for that? No. Really? No. Not even a little bit. Not really. I, I'm curious. I like the cast, but but I don't feel like it's going to be good. Huh. I I don't I I literally have z- zero interest in this film. Damn. Like, you know, I'm I'm not a huge Fantastic Four fan anyway, but <laughs> but even despite all that, I just don't I just don't have any any interest in it. Wow, I'm I'm l- rapidly losing interest in Marvel movies that aren't made by Marvel anymore. Yeah, yeah. that's true. If Fox yeah. would just let go, of their oh, it's a money maker, I guess. But we will see. I don't. Or is it? it, it, it yeah. Seems, it I seems mean... like nobody can make a good Marvel movie except for Marvel. That's the thing. That's the problem. Yeah, Marvel yeah. at least knows how to make their own movies well, with the exception of like you know Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, maybe the Thor mm-hmm. movies. But I, but I like Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, I mean, I like it too. Yeah, you, like you can't you can't movies. argue that that wasn't a hit. I mean, yeah, oh yeah, no, no, yeah. no, it is. I'm just saying, but like, but Fox just seems to it, Fox obviously... fundamental Fox and Sony both fundamentally misunderstand the characters a lot of the time. Yeah. And say what you will about Guardians of the Galaxy, but it didn't misunderstand its characters. No. Um, well, I, I'm interested. I'm curious about the Fantastic Four. I mean, Dustin, we talked way back about changing the race of the characters. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't mind that. I, you, I think yeah. Michael B. Jordan is, is a perfect um, Johnny Storm. The, the only thing is, is that it's weird that he's Kate Mara's brother. That's the only yeah. thing that, that gets that, me for that. That that bothered me. Yeah, that that like, makes no sense. I don't mind. I guess him. they're going to be adopted. Yeah, I don't but know, that's fucking stupid. Just cast a black actress. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't mind them changing it, 
because Michael B. Jordan seems perfect for playing Johnny Storm. Uh, yeah, it's, Dustin, it's a, it's a I simple. believe I believe your point on that, Dustin, was that you didn't care because the Fantastic Four to you didn't really work to begin with. Yeah, like the characters don't work to begin with, so it's. it's I don't. I don't know that I. S- I like the. I like the comics. I, mean, I, I love the comics, but I Miles Teller seems miscast in this to me. Yeah, I'm. See, my thing is, I'm sure the Fantastic Four. I mean, they were revolutionary when they came out. It's a wait, family of superheroes. Wait, 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 wait. Who's Miles Teller play? Mister Fantastic. Mister Fantastic. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? No. Yeah. Oh, no, never not. mind. I'm not into this at all. <laughs> and Jamie Bell is the thing. What? <laughs> um, this is the young, sexy CW Fantastic Four. <sighs> yeah, man. Um, look, my thing is it, the Fantastic Four, when they came out, they were, they were pretty revolutionary because it's a family of superheroes, but as time has gone on, that's been done better, I think. And I just don't, I just don't have any interest in, in the Fantastic Four as it's not that they don't work. It's that I don't have any interest. Uh, I just don't think that they are interesting together. Granted, I've never read one of the books. I don't know, but the, book, me, the books really work. I think the movies, the comic, I mean, the movies and the cartoons that I've seen, I just don't, I just don't care at all. Like, I don't know, whatever. That's I didn't whatever. like the movies, if yeah. that helps. But, sure. the, but the the books I like. Yeah. I don't know. Um, is anybody interested in Straight Outta Compton? What is that? Not that really. is the movie. About is it about NWA? NWA it is. It's their biopic. Oh, oh, um, maybe. I thought it was like a Kevin Hart comedy, just judging by the title. But. No. <laughs> um, I'm interested in Maybe. this concept. I, I, I can almost guarantee I won't go see it, but it's... You know, it's, Ice Cube's son is playing Ice Cube? Yeah. What? Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I know. Isn't that cool? So Maybe. It's, uh, Maybe I'll go see it. I don't know. It's, 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 it's an interesting project that I want to keep an eye on because I think it's a, I think it'll make for a good movie. Um. Especially with the, the you know the members of NWA sort of creatively at the center of it you know to yeah, steer the ship I think that's good mm-hmm. um, so yeah I don't know who knows yeah Ooh. I have something for September um, it's a movie called Black Mass and I think it's important <coughs> for a couple of reasons well not well maybe for one and 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 even that one's not that good it's a movie about Whitey Bulger. <laughs> Um, Whitey Bulger is the gangster that they that they that Jack Nicholson's character was based on for The Departed. He's this mm-hmm. big Boston gangster, um, and so he's played in this movie by Johnny Depp. Mm-hmm. And I'm interested in the movie one because the cast is pretty good: um, Johnny Depp, Joel Edgerton, Benedict Cumberbatch, Sienna Miller. Um, am, am I the only one who doesn't like Joel Edgerton? I like him just fine. I don't, you don't have like a problem him? with him. I think it's so bland. Uh, yeah. It's... Hey, I liked him in the, in the Great Gatsby. I thought he was good in that. Well, he was good for that character, I guess. I don't know if I call him good. But... I like Joel. Anyway, he wouldn't stop me from going to see a movie. Well, I have no opinion on Joel. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. Um, but uh, I don't know who Scott Cooper is, the director. But um, I'm interested mm. because this is a crime drama. So, and as I said before, this is the, these are the kind of movies Johnny Depp needs to do. He's done them before. He needs to keep doing them because right now his career needs it. You know, he, mm. he needs to do more serious stuff. He needs to do, he needs to, you know, he's doing all this silly shit with top hats and tea parties and, you know, <laughs> po- oh, poppycock and all this bullshit. He needs to shoot people in the head. Yeah. Like, that's what he needs he's to do. Pl- and, he's playing the wolf in the, in yeah, the right now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and that's just, kind it's, it just it makes me sad. Um, he needs to do a few things where he like he does some, he makes questionable choices. He's good. The kids all like you. That's great. Now you need the adults to like you again because no one likes you right now. Nobody who actually can pay for tickets likes you in movies. So please do a movie where people go, oh shit, Johnny Depp's a badass. You know. Um, so I don't know. I, I I'm interested in it just because it's a crime drama. I like those. Um, I like movies that are based on real people, like Whitey Bulger, and uh, and I like Johnny Depp when he's when he's doing serious films. He's very capable, and I just I'm I'm so sad because these last like five seven years he's just kind of wasted his talents on just these dumb shit projects. So, 
I don't know. I, I have hope for the. I have hope for this movie. I, I don't know if I'm. I don't know that I'm interested as much as I am just having hope for it. I don't know. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I've got is a movie called Everest. I don't know much about it except that it uh, presumably takes place on Mount Everest, right? Climbing Mount Everest. Uh, this is based on real events in '96, but I, I also just thought it was good because, um, again, it's one of those where you don't see that many movies or any really, I haven't seen any movies that take place climbing a mountain. And I just thought that it offered an opportunity for, you know, a unique story told in a setting that we're not familiar with really. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know. I just thought it could be, it could be good. It stars, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, Josh Brolin, uh, Jason Clark, John Hawks, the return of our friend, Sam Worthington. Oh no. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. So what if uh, him and Joel Edgerton made a movie together with TJ? Stop, stop it. I, I just can't wait for the Sam Worthington, Jai Courtney team up. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Don't give them ideas. <laughs> Jai Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of name is Jai? Stupid one. Yeah, that's right. Damn straight. I, I, I have one more for September. Oh. I'll see the, uh, the Maze Runner. Really? Did, did anyone ever see the first one? No. I didn't. I heard it was really good, though. It was interesting. I, I'll go see the next one. I, huh. I, I, you know, a lot of these movies are trying to come out and be the next Hunger Games, and, and this kind of felt similar. Uh, gotcha. But but it, it was interesting. I, I'll go see the next one. I mean, I'm not like, oh, yeah, I was super excited for it, but, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll go see it. October, John, I'm curious, uh, The Jungle Book. Yeah. The uh, John Favreau <clears throat> live-action Jungle Book. Yeah. Are you now? I know this is your favorite Disney movie. It is. It's yeah. It's right among my favorite movies ever in general. So, how do you feel about them doing this? Um, I mean, they, they've done live action ones before. The thing, the thing about the Disney one is it's nothing like the book. So, if if they follow true to the book, uh, this may be good and serious. Yeah, but but the thing is, like Bill Murray is playing Baloo. So right away, you know that they're going for the Disney, like a live action version of the Disney one. So they wait. are because Richard Sherman is writing new music for this movie. Oh really? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, cool. they're they they said Bill Murray's <laughs> going to sing the Bare Necessities, and they're writing new music. Wait well, a minute. That's bizarre, but now, okay. Hold on. This <clears throat> this confuses me. I thought that Benedict Cumberbatch was going to be Shere Khan, but it says Idris Elba is. Idris Elba is Shere Khan. When. When did Benedict Cumberbatch not be Shere Khan? When was he not being Shere Khan? Now, don't there is. I never even Jungle heard he was book. Shere Khan. I think I heard that, but there's another. Oh, Andy Jungle Circus book. is doing another one. Maybe yeah, he's Andy in that Circus one. is doing a motion capture Jungle Book for Warner Brothers, and I think he's going to be Shere Khan for that. Oh, now that's exciting. Now I like Idris Elba better. I do too. Idris mm, Elba's going to. No, I like I like Benedict Cumberbatch better. I'm over Benedict Cumberbatch. Nah, dog. Yeah, I am oh, too. Dude, done <laughs> with Sorry. Him. I love Idris Elba, though. I do, too. I, think, I love I think, them both. But the thing is, uh, uh, this casting is all over the place. But but I got to say, I do love Idris Elba as Shere Khan, and I love Ben Kingsley as Bagheera. Yeah. But but I don't know how I feel about Scarlett Johansson. I think she's playing Ka. I, I, the one I, that I'm confused about is Christopher Walken as King Louie, because <laughs> for <Okay>. me, <clears throat> King Louie, like, Louie Prima was King Louie. Yeah. Right? Well, so that, and the weird. thing is, too, is, is like I'd love to see them make a more serious version because King Louis sure. wasn't even a character in the book. They made him right. up for the exactly. movie. Exactly. And and the book is great, and the book is very serious. And Baloo is not a funny character at all or anything. The, yeah, yeah. the book is, it, and I'd love to see them do that. If yeah. they're gonna, I don't know how I feel about this shit. I want to see a trailer first. But yeah. but if they're just kind of remaking the animated one as a live action one. I it think that's like kind that's of a waste of resources because um, yeah. you're not going to do it better. That, that's the way it is. I mean, um, but what it seems like to me is, is Disney is going back through its animated movies like Sleeping Beauty and Cinderella and saying, let's just do our version like a live action, but it's based on what we've done originally. <laughs> and Alice in Wonderland. Like that, yeah. And Alice in Wonderland. And I think this is going to be a lot of the same. It's, it's yeah, that's why I mean, Richard Sherman's writing music for it. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I don't like but, Scarlett Johansson's Ka at all. Well, yeah, and the thing is, Ka's a, uh, an, a, uh, a good guy male. in the book. Yeah. yeah. 
he's well, he's he's a villain in the Disney version, but he's Mowgli's friend in the book. Yeah. Um, so that'll be interesting. I don't know if they'll it'll still be a villain in this, but I don't have a problem with Scarlett Johansson. It's just, I, and I don't have a problem with Cobb being portrayed by a woman. But but it's just you have uh, she's not British. I guess is my issue well, because I've, you have you I've have seen Idris no Elba, diversity have... in her. Like I've seen no no indication that she can play that she can voice a character interestingly. Well, she was the like, voice of the phone in her. Yeah, but that's her voice. Like, well, right. I mean, but uh, it's not. I don't have an issue with her. It's just you have a great cast here that's very diverse, and then Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, exactly. And, and he, I'll even forgive Bill Murray because he's, he is like a real Bill life Murray. Baloo, right? Yeah. I mean, but but he fits the character. If they're going for that direction, yeah, he but fits I've that seen, character perfectly. I've seen more dramatic and comedic range out of him than I have with Scarlett Johansson. She's yeah. she, the, the problem with her is I just don't see any range in her. I don't know how much she can actually do, and I don't understand what inspired them to cast her as Ka. Like, what does she bring to the table out of everybody? I think she's the weak link of this of this cast. It's just because Jon Favreau has worked with her and likes her. That's um, exactly probably. what it is. <laughs> but yeah. my only problem with this is that it isn't a live-action tailspin movie. <laughs> That's no, that what I want to see. Pay to see. <laughs> I want to see a realistic nope. bear flying a plane. I would just love a, to see Bill. you get the costume from Walt Disney World, the tailspin blue, and just have yes. Bill Murray walk around in it. Yes, I mean that that would be a movie. I'd go see that. I would go. I would go see that, would that be for sure. Incredible. That would be awesome. And you'd you have, shoot on like have, a camcorder. I would love. I know. That. I know. King Louis, you know, as the bartender and all. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd love to Duh. see Christopher Walken play that King Louis. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You'd have the whole bar. I mean, that would be amazing. Idris Elba would play the the Shere Khan up in the tower. You know, a photorealistic oh, CG bear cub flying behind a plane <laughs> yeah. on a wind glider. Oh, man. That's what I want to see. License to print money, Disney. Come on. I know. Let's go. Come on, Disney. <laughs> Get it together. Oh, man. But, but you know, I don't know how I feel about this. I, I'll, I'll go see it, I'm sure. Yeah. I, I, I'm more excited for this than the Andy Circus version, I think. Yeah, me too. Um, for sure. But, you know, that one's probably going to be closer to the book. So, um, yeah. you know, I don't know. I, 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 I'll have to wait until I see a trailer to get the real tone of this. Because it, it, it seems all over the place right now, but I don't know. We'll see. I'll go see it, I'm sure. So it'll get, it'll get my monies. I, I have uh, another one for October as well. Oh. I don't know if you guys do. No, I don't. Uh, vacation. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll, what's this? I'll go see this because I love the other movies, the other vacation mm-hmm. movies. So. Yeah, yeah. What is this they, like? They brought, is this like the Griswold vacation? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh Jesus! Yeah, it's the remake. It's, oh, yeah, God. well, it's it's kind of like a continuation though. It's because yeah. it, Chev- it's it's about Rusty as the main character now. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, who yeah. is Rusty played by? Yeah. Uh, Ed Helms. Who uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's right. I would have preferred Jason Sudeikis playing Rusty, but. I don't know. I, I don't know I'm you interested. Guys. I, you know, I, I'm interested because I love the others. That's why. I don't know. Well, you guys. I don't know Here, if it'll be good. Here's the interesting bad. part of that, yeah. though, and the, you might find this interesting, Hooper, or you may be super opposed to it and hate me forever, and then like I don't know, jump off a building. But John Francis Daly is directing that movie. He's also in the movie, and evidently in the movie he will be starring alongside Sam Levine and Martin Starr. And the rumor is that they will be appearing as their Freaks and Geeks characters in the film. See, Here's how I feel that. about that. Why put that in a vacation movie? Because he's directing. I know, but they're, they're not connected. I know, right? That's the thing. I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see those three characters. But that's like a gimmick to get me to see this movie I otherwise am, have zero interest in. That's the yep. thing. Like that yep. that's one of those like little like, oh, but you get but Freaks and Geeks people will like it too. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah, but I'll just YouTube the scene, you know, two months after it comes out. Like, who gives a shit? I don't know. Right. So, you know, I I guess they never specifically stated they would be playing their Freaks and Geeks characters, but but that was the assumption. Mm. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. That I'll tell you what that seems like to me. That seems like John Francis Daly saying, how can I get more people to see my movie? Exactly. I know, I'll give them something. <laughs> November, I got Spectre. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Um, totally. I didn't know what oh, this for was. A second, until I, I was like, what is that? Yeah. Yeah, until I clicked on it. Yeah. Um, but this is the 24th James Fourth, Bond yeah. film. Yeah, yeah. I'm inherently excited because I, I loved Skyfall so much. I like that Sam Mendes is back. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm I'm with all the setup that they did in the last movie in terms of these are the people who are going to be around for this new iteration of the franchise. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to see them, you know, kind of launch yeah, yeah. their their maiden voyage, you know, their first exactly. mission with um, with Ray Fiennes being the new M yeah. and yeah. Um, Ben Wyshaw being the new Q, Naomi Harris and all just all these new people that they introduce. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited to to see this next movie. Yeah, me too. I um. I'm really excited too because this is a return to Spectre, and I've always felt like they were kind of Bonds, like Blofeld himself as Bonds Moriarty, and and so if we get to see Blofeld in this, it's going to be amazing, and 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 especially if it's Christoph Waltz playing Blofeld, um, but you know they've added Christoph Waltz and Andrew Scott both as villains, and I love both of them. And they've also added Dave Bautista, which you know I don't really I'm not a huge fan of Dave Bautista, but Having him play like a Jaws kind of role, like a like a uh, you know a a hulking Bond villain that he can't you know out you know punch uh, like the, the old <laughs> Bond movies used to have. That's legit. Like, so I'm excited for this for a number of reasons. Like you said, you know, finally having M and Q and Money Penny as a, as an active part, and uh, and then you know a, a, a classic kind of villain coming back and all of that. I'm excited for it. Yeah. Now, right. also, though, on that same day, the Peanuts movie comes out, mm-hmm. and, and I'm looking forward to the Peanuts movie, because look at that cast. That's I was just thinking that, yep. Those no are names. all unknown kids. Yeah. Yeah. They're real children playing the Peanuts, and that's going to be amazing to me. Um, yep. It's also um, written by some of Charles Schultz's children, and I just think this is, this is going to be really uh, an interesting thing to to watch and i was a huge fan of the peanuts i read the strips all the time when i was a kid so i'm looking forward to it yeah i it look it visually it looks nice yeah if you look at the it's at not the most some, recently... some a- 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 alvin and the chipmunks looking right if you look at the most nonsense. recent trailer um you'll see that they've actually like in the cg because it's a cg film but in the cg they've added charles schultz's like pin lines that he used to do mm-hmm. and that's awesome to me that and, is cool. uh, yeah, I'm I'm excited for it. But then the next thing is Mocking J Part Two. Yes. Right. Which is gonna be huge. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just excited to see how it ends. I, I literally don't know anything about this. It, the the fir- the second part is probably gonna be the most action packed of the series. Easy. Sure. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Um it's it's gonna be really good. Judging from awesome. the book, so gotcha. And, yeah, and the I movies mean, had a great track record on adapting the book for me. So mm-hmm. yeah, uh, and, and and as someone who's I, read all the books, like the, I remember when I read Mockingjay and I finished it, I was like, this will actually be better on film than it is in the book because the book is kind of just like, oh what, oh what. Mm-hmm. So it, it's better. It'd be better played out um, visually, I think, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. It'll be good. Um, then on, on November 25th, we had the good dinosaur, mm-hmm. right? This, um, what do we think about this? Cause I'm ambivalent. I don't I know, know much about been, it. Yeah. I don't know really much of anything, but I know there's been some behind the scenes kind of shuffling and, and changing of directors and all this kind of stuff. So I'm a little worried about it, but, but you know, I'm still of the mindset that Pixar <clears throat> will come up with something, even if it's not. Well, brilliant it'll at least be (laughs) to reassure you about the director's thing pixar is kind of known for doing that and and ratatouille had the same issue yeah and that that's one of my favorite pixar movies so yeah yeah Uh, yeah Yeah. (laughs) so yeah anybody else have anything for november um i'm interested in the martian but i don't know anything about it i hate matt damon so i'll probably hate it Uh but but it's written by drew goddard and and directed by ridley scott yeah um and um anyway i don't know anything about it it, it really scott's falling from grace for me he really has but i'm really hoping for a return to form for him because i feel like yeah I, i i just i feel like 
he's such a, a talented guy. I just hate to see him kind of just yeah. flip around like, like a dead fish. Well, December has the obvious draw of Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say Sisters. Yeah. Sisters? I, yeah. Or that's Krampus. Gonna get, that's going to get fucking destroyed by Star Wars. <laughs> I know. It sucks to be Amy Poehler and Tina Fey when they look at this right. schedule here. It worked for Mamma Mia. That was released on the same day as The Dark Knight. That did a, a yeah, ton oh, of money. The, you mean the counter the counter programming? Stop yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes that. it works. Stop. Sometimes, yeah. I don't see this film being. Uh, it'll be big, but I don't see it being like much bigger than The Dark Knight. To be honest. So. Oh, I think it's gonna make more money than The Dark Knight. No one agrees. Okay. We we, we <laughs> we'll see. It, it very well may be. I don't know. Well, I, all I know, I, I know that the nerds are, are really, really super excited for it, and um, but I don't like, know, like, like if my dad would go see it. My dad would stay away from this picture at all costs. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> he I feel hates like my Star dad Wars. Would, yeah, my dad did too, but really, but I, I just mean like, oh, like yeah. the general, yeah, the general public. I just don't know that they're as into Star Wars as people think they are. I feel like this, this, this movie. Its audience is going to be killing it because you you bend over backwards to please the Star Wars fans. They're going to come in. They're going to nitpick the thing to shit and hate it. That's what I think is going to happen. Huh. And and what what's it's the last quality possible. thing anyone's done with Star Wars? Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing. Star Wars has a fifty fifty chance. It's running at fifty percent. Fifty percent of its movies are really good. Fifty percent of its movies are god awful. So, are you so counting movie, the animated? I am not it's theatrical movie. I am not, nor am I counting uh, Star Wars, the, the Clone Wars, the, the movie? special. Um, I'm, I, I mean, I'm not. But if, if, if I was, then we're definitely leaning more towards garbage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but, but look. So JJ wrote the movie. He, he, he directed the movie. Um, Lawrence Kasdan's involved. It's got some good draws to it. But the problem with it is, I just don't. I just don't have much of an interest in it. Like, like I feel like it's over. And, and the world of Star Wars, I know the nerds will tell you, like, it's a huge world and it's ripe with stories. But I just don't feel that way. And I feel like you'd almost have to look at the extended universe or whatever to, to really feel that way. And I don't. I don't care. Like, if it's not in the movie, I don't care. And, yeah, I don't know. Like, like I, I, I feel like when, when this movie comes out, like, when that trailer came out, People yeah. said, oh, the trailer's good, but this, the, the lightsaber was stupid, and the rolling droid was stupid. And I feel like that's going to hamper the movie for everyone that goes to – all these, all really these fans, quote-unquote fans that go to see it. They're going to come out yeah. with so many little nitpicks, and it's going to be – You've you know, also got to remember that they're going to compare this to the prequels, which were shit. And so this is going to come out looking positively no matter what, I think. I think oh, that's going to – It's going to come out looking better than the prequels, no doubt. Right. I agree with but, that. I... But it's – but the problem is – they're gonna they're gonna compare it to the originals, and they're gonna yeah. say, "Oh, Harrison Ford, you know, he doesn't care anymore." And and then they don't they realize got, that he never they got did. Han, they got Han Solo wrong. That'll be said yeah, a lot, thrown around. And it, like right. I, I look at this, this is obviously gonna be a little bit bigger than Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but but that's kind of yeah. that, how that was. That was a movie that got nitpicked to death by people, which I think is a good movie. Yeah, I'll, I'll say it, that it got I, picked, a, picked apart by right. the people that love it. You know, right? Exactly. So I I feel like this. I don't know. Judging from that, this is going to be similar. And you're going to have you're going to have the people like okay, let me use this as a, as an example. I hate the the Harry Potter epilogue. Like I don't want to know what Harry looks like when he's older. I don't want to know who his kids are. I don't even care. And there's going to be people that are going to think the same way when they see Harrison Ford and 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 or Han and Leia's children. Like why should we care? And that's not the that's not the Han that I always pictured him growing into. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's going to be so much of that. As much as there was, I, I can't imagine Hayden Christensen becoming Darth Vader. There's going to be, I can't imagine Han Solo becoming this old, dried up, you know, goofy old man. <laughs> and, and I just feel like people are going to pick it apart. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you that it's not going to do well. Like this movie's going to kill. It really will. But the problem it'll, is. It'll have, it'll battle it out for Ultron to be the, the biggest movie of the year. Easy. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, but although but I'd I still give it to the Avengers, have... but I, I would think it'll be second second to the Avengers. Yeah, mm. I, I don't. I just don't think it's going to have the legs Avengers is going to have. 
Right. In other words, in other words, it's going to open big, but it's going to it's going to go it's going to go downhill. Yeah. Um, because like you said, people are going to pick it apart. And and you know, like the other point too, I just don't know that the general public are really all that interested in more Star Wars films. Um, I mean, if I you think... if you put Harrison Ford all over the marketing, <laughs> maybe. But beyond that, I don't. Yeah. Know. I, I yeah. I think it's you have a big fan base there, but like I said, it's a double edged sword catering to them for all this stuff you know so right and you're not reinventing the wheel like they did with with star trek it's not like you're aiming to a different audience so you know you're gonna piss some people off yeah and then and at the same time you're gonna be criticized for not doing enough so yeah i don't know it'll be a balancing act but i don't know the trailer the trailer looks fine to me I'm indifferent towards it, though. It didn't make me want to see it more or less. I was like, oh, all right. Exactly. I mean, uh, yeah, you know, that's the way I feel about this whole movie. But I, I don't think I don't think the movie's I'm necessary, a... and, I, and I don't think there's anything they could even do that would make me want to see it more. I mean, it's yeah. it's just that I, I'll see it, but I'm not super excited for it, just like Ant-Man, just like any of the others. I'm excited to see Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford, but, like, I have I really don't even want to see Carrie Fisher. They should have just said Leia died. And I don't like, want to see Mark Hamill. Well, yeah, he frightens me now. He's a little scary, but but we'll but, see. Know, I mean, it'll do well regardless. But yeah, you know, I don't know. Hmm. Well, does anybody? I'm more excited for the movie? Hunger Games. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> does anybody at the end of the day? See, uh... At the end of the day, I think their box office grosses will be similar. In all honesty. Yeah. Well. The, yeah. I mean. I... <clears throat> That's true. I, I still think the Avengers will do more than both of them, but probably the Avengers, Hunger Games, and then Star Wars. Yeah. Um, I'm more all, excited for Spectre, honestly. All, all three of them are going to gross more than Mission Impossible 5, I believe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Although I'm still excited to see Mission Impossible 5. Yeah, yeah me too. It's, you know. I, but, uh, I, I like the last one. I saw that on Netflix. Yeah, I thought it was that good. was the best that one of them. Really I, that and the third one were really good, I thought. So, I, yeah, I think I so too, uh, yeah. And this last one was good because I don't know if this was like Brad Bird's input or whatever, but, but it felt more like a, a Mission Impossible thing. It's just opposed to a spy thing. Yeah, like exactly. you, you remember when he was climbing the building and he had the, the gloves that would stick to the building and stuff. Yeah. It was very – we're using special science fiction technology to do these things type of yes. situation. So if that one continues that, I like that. But also it, it, it did a good move, which was it had them – basically working on the run so they didn't have half of their fancy equipment that they normally have so it's just like right. yeah the, the gloves break and we would we could well, have yeah. done that if we had this and blah 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 it just it forced them to actually do real espionage without you know old school espionage and i just i thought that, that was good for a film that could have had them have any sort of convenient gadget around you yeah know? yeah and I, i'll give him props for sticking with tom cruise i wouldn't go see it if he wasn't in it so oh, i agree i agree uh, you know He's yep. kind of the face of it for me. I, so. I have zero interest without Tom Cruise. Yep. I'm glad they didn't they didn't switch over to Jeremy Renner. Yeah. I think judging by the Bourne movies, that would have been a mistake. That would have been a <laughs> yeah. huge mistake. Yeah. Judging Remember by their when crosses. everybody thought Jeremy Renner was going to be huge. I just I, I want them to keep. I want them to cut his hair. I'm so tired of Ethan Hunt with long hair. It's not cool. <laughs> I hate it. It's so dumb. Did he have he had long hair in the last one, but not the third one? Not the third right. one. He had he had in the second yeah, and looked, fourth. Yeah, it it just makes him look older. Like, hey, I'm Ethan Hunt. I got long hair because I'm from the '80s. Like, stop. <laughs> just cut it. It's so. I've said. I told this to Dustin. The same thing with Black Widow. The long hair without being like you know put in a bun during action makes zero sense to me. Well, like, let me. Let a, me play every devil's spy advocate. should just buzz cut their head. Let me play devil's advocate. I'm gonna disagree with you on Ethan Hunt. Because you can't win, Dustin. I know, I know. I know but hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so I disagree on Ethan Hunt because every spy has short hair, right? But Ethan Hunt to me almost has this rock star kind of vibe to him that that James Bond doesn't have, or that you know Jack Ryan doesn't have. And so I actually like the long hair because I feel like it suits his character better as sort of like the. I hate to use the term the bad boy of you know yeah. all of these spies or whatever, but I feel like it suits him better. Whereas Bond is all about clean sophistication, and Jack Ryan is just kind of boring and dull. You have 
you have this Ethan Hunt character who's almost like, like if he could ride this secret agent thing to, you know, be a superstar, he almost would. And maybe that's just the Tom Cruise vibe that I get. But yeah. I kind of like that, honestly. So I don't know. But I like the short hair too because he still has the same swag. But, you know, I don't know. I think the long hair does fit Ethan Hunt. It would not fit James Bond. <laughs> Can you imagine a Bond with long hair? Like a ponytail. Hey, I'm James Bond. <laughs> so, well, I, I, have, I have one more, and I'll see okay. it. I'm not excited for it, but but every year on Christmas Eve, me and my sister go see a dumb movie. Oh, and Alvin and the Chipmunks. So we, we have, I have seen two of the Alvin and the Chipmunks movies on Christmas Eve in the movies, so I'm sure that we will go see the boringly titled Alvin and the Chipmunks 4. Oh, God. No, so, uh, at least it's not the squeakle. Uh, no, and it's not chip chipwrecked. Yeah. <laughs> oh lord. So I, I'm sure I'll go see that. I'm I'm also interested in, in uh, Joy. I don't really know much about it, but I like I, I like the combinations of Bradley Cooper, Jennifer Lawrence, and David O. Russell and Robert yeah, De Niro yeah. and all those guys. So, uh, you know. Yeah. Also, the writer a- Annie Mumolo is the one who co-wrote Bridesmaids. No. Oh really? Mm-hmm. That's about all I had for. 2015 anyway yeah yep. me too yeah okay well um well we'll see i mean i guess the next time we see a movie we will uh have a review up for it um including a whole backlog of recent reviews and retro reviews and tv talk and film news all the <laughs> stuff we normally have but for now i guess that's it um for all of us thank you guys both for uh making the time to do all these episodes you got it yeah Appreciate no problem it. thank you man all right well i guess i'll see you guys later sounds good all righty goodbye bye 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 <sighs>